40 minutes, man. This is a 40 minute show. So this is uh, kind of a big one. When it's a bunch of like third party games on PS5, it's called a state of play. When it is a whole bunch of first party games, like, you know, uh, like a new Ghost of Tsushima, Horizon, Uncharted, whatever, Last of Us, any of that kind of stuff, not Bloodborne, never Bloodborne, that will be at something like a, what's called a, a PlayStation showcase. All right, here we go. Destiny? Not Destiny? Oh, Helldivers. I, I feel like we've seen this trailer three times? This looks like fun. I'll give him credit. This is just Lethal Company with guns. It looks like fun. It looks like premium yo video games material. I'm down. Confused. I thought they were gonna jump into like Hi everyone, I'm Herman Hills. A mech from Studios, Pacific Rim or some shit. To present the first state of play of 2024. The first three years of PS5 have given us incredible stories, immersive worlds, and groundbreaking gameplay from PlayStation Studios and their partners. We've also a Metal Gear PlayStation Plus with new features including PS5 game streaming. And with PSVR 2 and PlayStation Portal, which released last November. We're committed to offering new and surprising ways for audience to interact with their PS5. All right. But none of this means anything without great games, like Helldivers 2, which kicks off a year of amazing experiences and diverse ways to play. Today, we're Is the stream at really loud, chat, or are we good? Here and beyond, with extended gameplay and announcements we hope People you are saying turn it up. We do here at PlayStation. Enjoy the show. There's Stellar Blade. Good Lord, how long have we been looking at this booty game, huh? Five years? No way. Was this initially announced on PS4? Welcome to the world of Stellar Blade. The story begins on post-apocalyptic Earth. Whoa, she just has enemy called the Nativa like a hovering robot, just like near to an off-world colony. Players will take control of Eve, but it's co-op, right? Airborne squad. Her mission is to save the planet by defeating the Elder Nativa. All we must do. There's another one that is co-op like. The seventh airborne squad is lost during their descent from the colony. Eve soon meets two new companions. Adam, born on Earth, is in pursuit of an energy source called Hypersight. Make sure to stay cautious. It's where the Alpha and Atiba is. So this must be eight or seven. Lily, a member of the fifth airborne squad. English, uh, lip syncing. I'm kind of surprised. Then I can be your engineering support. She puts her technique puts her technical knowledge to use by upgrading Eve's equipment throughout the game. Here. Done. Something does feel different. Double jump. This is Zion. A city built underneath the wasteland by the last human survivors on Earth. Oh. City underneath the wasteland. Eve is called Angel, Angel by the survivors and is an object of both awe and fear. I'm not selling anything to you. They'll seem a bit wary at first, but will Angel, gradually loosen up as Eve clothes? shows a commitment to rebuilding the city. Hello, Angel. How are you? I see we have guests. I keep 
can't believe the angel is here. The survivors will sometimes ask you for help. Please save my younger sister. Wait right here. Their requests will often lead her to the wasteland. It looks like worldwise. It's pretty similar to near. This place has been over. Die. And malfunctioning and robots. Like big zones and stuff like that. With towns that you get missions from that are relatively like small. Hard to tell. In a place like this. I mean, the You'll influence seems pretty substantial. Set up by previous airborne squads. At each camp, Eve can purchase various consumable items. Acquire new skills. And new clothes, apparently. Upgrade equipment and more. She can also take a well-deserved break to restore her health. Eve will often encounter people in need and other non human. Please let this be its own thing. Uh, yes, just don't make any observations. This is a completely original idea. Robot chick running around post apocalyptic environment with a little robot dude. There's absolutely, with, with a massive ass, there is no comparisons to be made here. Don't make any more observations. Something worse. <laughs> What are you going to do after you defeat the Alpha Nitiba? All airborne squad members exist for one sole purpose. You mean the extinction of all Nitibas? Right? To think that the point of your existence is to snuff out another species. Damn, it looks super polished. It is not an easy fight. It's fine. I can do this alone. It won't be easy. Angel, that's the unofficial name for members of the Eve Airborne Squad. I can feel the Seeing a lot of costumes, that's for sure. The source. I will find it, and I will make it pay. Open it! It's windy! No more lies to blind my eyes to watch you Drone is different. This is no longer the drone you knew. So I think this all looks really cool. <clears throat> it's actually a game I, I wouldn't mind trying. The, the question is the combat, right? The biggest question is, does the combat actually feel good? And that's the tough part with a lot of these like overseas action games, that action games are so heavily focused, but you know, combat looks really cool. But for it to get, like, the right feel is very difficult. And to be honest, like... Taking inspiration a bit from, like, you know, Nier Automata. It's platinum, dude. That's soon, yeah. Yeah, they definitely put a lot of polish into this. It looked like PlayStation stepped in for sure. PlayStation definitely was like like Microsoft back in the day. Turn this into something big. There it is. Hell yeah, brother. <clears throat> is this the best Sonic game chat since the old Sonic games? Best Sonic game? Generations is fucking sick. But to be honest, I probably already have something similar to this on PC. Oh, they stick shadow on it now. Of course. 
Where's his guns? Where's Shadow's guns? <clears throat> Where's his AK? That's cool. That's pretty cool. Them remastering older Sonic games is cool. Sonic Generations is a, is a really good one. The game with so much budget. Did they really screw up the Sonic Colors remake? I didn't really try it. Is this actually coming out soon? Is this a date date? Or is it like an open beta or something? Alright. There you go. Foam Hub is back. It didn't leave. This game came out? This game came out? Not yet? Really? I thought it did come out. Okay. All right. That was a video game we just saw. Oh, it's the chat. <laughs> oh, man. Wasn't there a Dave the Diver, like, DLC of some kind? Dredge, yeah. That's not a fish. I don't know what to feel. <clears throat> At all. I don't know what I'm feeling, if anything. Is this Divinity 6? Uprising? Is this something that's already out? Access. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Damn, man, we are flying through these trailers. Holy moly. Like, our ass is cooking. Hi, everyone. I'm Sean Benson. 
This next game is a result of a very close partnership with Konami and marks the return of a horror franchise that has been with us since the oh, original Silent PlayStation. Hill. Let's take a look at what's next for Silent Hill. Cool. Cool. Silent Hill 2 or the new one, right? The new one. Maybe I can be like her. Blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. What are you hiding? It's like a VR game. Maya? こんにちはサイレントヒルシリーズのプロデューサーを務める岡本元井ですご覧いただいたのはサイレントヒルザショートメッセージという全く新しいサイレントヒルとなります本作は本日この後プレイステーション5で無料配信いたしますコナミが送る現代を舞台にしたサイコロジカルホラーをぜひ体験してくださいそれでは最後にこちらの映像をご覧くださいおお、今日はこれを見ることができます。Red flags. <clears throat> That was a Silent Hill 2 trailer, and it spent 90% of it in combat. There are red flags. It could be good, though. It could be good. Maybe they're trying to tell us the combat's actually going to be good this time? Maybe that's the idea behind the trailer, but it's very like, wow. Yeah. I mean, when you think of Silent Hill 2, you definitely don't think of the combat. <clears throat> you think of all like the atmosphere and stuff, right? Atmosphere, haunting imagery. Mental bullshit, you know? Whether 
whether you like it or not. Was that Deathloop? <laughs> um, all right, that was an intense trailer. Stare into the flame. Think of this fire as a beacon. Its warmth, its energy. Now. Focus your mind on your wife and step into the void. Has to be like a Metro game, right? Has to be. VR Metro. they should drop on us right now Dragula <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, I'm the worst. they should just drop Dragula on us right now due to the witches of bird <laughs> like there was a moment there for that to happen in the back of my huge ass <laughs> I'm buying this shit. I'm buying this shit. <laughs> they got me. I picked this bitch up by his neck bones and I beat the hell out of him. <laughs> by his neck bones. Alright, you got me. <clears throat> <laughs> Can we just ignore the rest of the game with all the RPG bullshit and just have an angry skeleton in a dark room? Can I just get Drunken Bar Fight Skeleton Edition? I'll take that. One. There it is. New DD2 trailer. Here we go, boys. I make no mistake. The dragon will appear before you when the time is come. Damn. I want this on PC so bad. No PlayStation. No thank you. PC version only. Okay. I'm playing the twin blade guy. Hell yeah. That's me. That On, on top of the dude's head? That's me. Switch to knives? Damn, boy! Okay, like in the heft of Greatsword. Yeah, okay, now you're doing a very good job at selling me on Dragon's Dogma 2 right now by showing this shit. Make manifest. 
Yeah, there was class switching halfway, like in in between combos. Right. Hold fast to your strength of will, Arisen One. Those who can be of aid to you will reveal themselves in time. Thy will, thy soul. These are all the means thou hast to carve thy path anew. Yet your wicked schemes will avail you not, watching one. That was the best Dragon's Dogma 2 trailer yet. By a lot. Easily the best trailer. Look cool, combat stuff look cool as hell. Switching mid fight and shit like that? I actually really want to play it now. Game, it essentially sold me on the game. No shit. All the other, other, it comes out soon, but all the other trailers have been so like meandering and slow and focusing around like story. And I don't remember almost any of the story in Dragon's Dogma 1, man. Anyway. Here's not Neo. This is Team Ninja. There's a town. Number one, there's a town, so it's not Neo. This is, so this is Team Ninja Yakuza. It's kind of what they're going for, right? Not in terms of like, you know, you're in a Yakuza city, but more like game design. There's a town and stuff like that. There's actually NPCs to talk to. Maybe more Assassin's Creed-ish. Okay, no, this is not Neo. The stances are obviously Neo. But this is way more Ghost of Tsushima, bro. This is much more Ghost of Tsushima than Neo. In terms of combat. Neo is like, obviously, and Wolong are like, halfway Ninja Gaiden games, you know? Oh, there's its own. There's its fair, fair share of weird shit. There we go. This is looking good. You know what? Maybe a Team Ninja game without the very, like, intri uh, the very, like, straightforward Neo level design might be more fun. Same thing with Wolong and Neo 2. The only one I ever beat was Neo 1 because the other games just feel so similar. Obviously improved, but if this just sort of has like a level, a, a different like level design, more Ghost of Tsushima ish, maybe. Yeah, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's open world now, it's, it's different. This comes out the same day as Dragon's Dogma 2. Buddy. So, if unfortunately, if there's one thing we know about Team Ninja, the PC version is going to get messed, going to be messed up. Unfortunately. And it'll take a little while for it to get fixed. Every single PC port of Team Ninja games is fucked up. There's something, like, really fucked up about it at, at launch. So it might be better to play on PlayStation, no kidding. At least at the start. Will the storytelling change? Maybe it will? Because good lord, man, the, uh... The story slash storytelling of Neo 1, 2, and Wolong... Nonsensical, like... Things are just happening, you know? Damn, and they just showed the Dragon's Dogma trailer? That's mean, Sony. Oh, this is PS- Oh, it's PS5 exclusive! Never mind, I'll shut the hell up. I see Team Ninja, and I just assume it's going to be on PC as well. 
Well, there you go. It's just it's just PS5. Until dawn? There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. I'm going to give you ten seconds. No, please! No. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. It was just a prank. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on... It can't be remaking Until Dawn. It has to be a remaster. That is not... It's not that old. Come on. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. I mean, yeah, it was the beginning of, like, PS4. Looking for me. Enhanced. Yeah, Until Dawn was great. NPC. That's pretty cool. That game's fun. Wow, we're getting another Death Stranding trailer? Okay. Get it, Kojima. Chill, bro. Welcome to Drawbridge, Sam, and to the G8 v Magellan, our mobile base of operations. Come on, I'll help you get your bearings. God damn facial animations. Somebody forgot to add the color to the characters, though. Pieces. Seems like a pretty big. These rooms over here belong Seems like a pretty to big thing to miss. The crew. They're pretty much the same as yours. And the shower's down at the end. It's really embarrassing, Kojima, I gotta say. This is one hell of a ship you got here. Courtesy of the UCA, I'm guessing. No. As I told you, Drawbridge is a civilian outfit. But we do have a generous patron with access to plenty of capital and tech. Sounds like a UCA big shot. Don't ask me. We've never met face to face. They value their privacy. Seriously? Facial animation. Oh, God to believe damn. That bullshit. They're just real people at this point, right? I mean, I get it, the real people in real life, but now they're just real people in the game. The you have to, like, feed them and shit. Out. They have to go to the bathroom. Cut off from one another. They have functioning bowels. We want you to help us bring the world together. <clears throat> Sam, would you mind if I join you? Humor him. Hmm. His knowledge and experience will probably come in handy down the road. Yes. Really, Sam? Your buttocks? What about shotgun? I prefer the driver's seat. <laughs> Sam, do you read me? <laughs> Mimir. <laughs> he animates at claymation, right? In stop motion in like 20 FPS or 12 FPS or some shit. He's on twos. The problem is not everybody wants to be part of the UCA. That's not the plan, Sam. The UCA isn't looking to expand its borders. 
Just like with Mexico, they want to bring new regions into the network. Anyway, the DHV Magellan's here to visuals, you bro. As always, you'll be Good the Lord. one leading the way to expand the network. I hate it that I'm fascinated. Fuck you, Kojima. You always do this shit to me. That's right. Same shit happened with the first game. I got super into it. You brought America together. Helped it be reborn as the UCA. There's flash floods. is far from over. I was so fascinated by the first one when I was playing it, and then it, I just the lost interest, like danger. hard, all of a sudden. Still on the brink of extinction. I enjoyed what I played of the first game, mind don't you. Don't act like you don't see it. A lot of things changed after you went. But I just got like a week later. Especially I just never went back. UCA. Bridge is no longer oversees the distribution network. They withdrew once things were up and running. This game is gorgeous looking. So Holy shit! Workers all went their separate ways. Within network coverage, there's no need to rely on human porters anymore. So after I closed up shop, I went and started a new group. One that handles work in regions outside the UCA. We decided to call ourselves Drawbridge. With the support of the Chiral Network and APAS, I like these guys. humanity will be free from the need to move around. Bots are capable of handling deliveries. He's alive. He called himself a ghost, but... We found a way back from the beach just so he could kill us. He said he came back to get revenge on you and me. <laughs> hey, brother. Did you miss me? Yeah, I figured you'd pay this place And he's now visit. the crow? Seeing as how I've been... Distributing the fruits of this fine It's not the Joker, Chad, it's the crow. With guns and violence, the whole damn world could be yours. Same as it ever was. Oh. Looks like you decided to trade in that rope for a stick this go round. Well, I suppose even a porter has to pull the trigger from time to time. Oh, what about you? Goddamn hey, performances, you dude. Another soulless little husk, huh? Let go of me! Oh. Pathetic guitarist, where's the rest of your band? No, uh, 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 uh. Well, ain't that something? Was it you, Heads? Huh? Was it you that killed Lou? You still don't know, do you? What the fuck! <laughs> it's so Kojima, it hurts. Something he said. <laughs> it's so Kojima, it hurts. All right, Sam. Let's see what we can find on Lou. If you want answers, you're gonna have to find them yourself. But the ones you do find, well, that pain you nurse will only get worse. Sam the man in the dark about everything. Fucking me up! Don't forget, <laughs> Shit! Coming on Fuckin this me expedition up. was meant to help you find the strength All right. to carry on. And you have. God damn it, Kojia. It's this. fucking me up, dude. It's <laughs> Shit, I'm a dad. Can't do this. It's you pandering. Can't do this shit to me. We never meant to string you along. Jesus Christ. That chrysalis, we found her inside. It was filled with a fluid that contained amino acids. One's identical in structure to the kind found in tar. 
I'm sorry, there are amino acids in tar? As in proteins? Of course. How else did you think that chiral creatures could emerge from it? Some have even theorized that the tar is a sort of primordial soup. I was there. I saw her home. It was a hellhole. You see, after you left Bridges, I decided to do a little digging. Now, according to them, BB-28 was flagged for Guillermo? and subsequently incinerated four years ago, long before you and Lou first met. All right. George Miller? Was that George? That was George Miller. Holy shit. That was literally George Miller at the start during the, the, the surgery scene. And now here with me today is visionary game creator and founder of Kojima Productions, Kojima Song. Kojima, you got me, uh, you son welcome. of a bitch. Today, God damn I'm excited it. to announce that. Yeah, it looks incredibly interesting. And I hate that, dude. Hideo's going to take us on an exciting new adventure. I hate how weird and mysterious and gorgeous it is. God damn it, bro. What? What? ま、we're all really excited about this project, and we will fully support you with the latest innovation Sony has to offer. More details to come. <sighs> Holy Stay shit. Chill. The drone cam. Damn. You got a good pilot. Damn, boy. You got a good pilot. That was a cool shot. Holy crap. Good shot. Uh, Before we go, I have one final announcement. State of Play will return February 6th with an extensive look at Final Fantasy VII ah! Rebirth. Square Enix will be sharing new gameplay details along with exciting news you won't want to miss. We hope you enjoyed the show. See you soon. They spent like 40 minutes on that <laughs> Kojima trailer? Uh, wait a minute, but, ah! Holy shit, bro. How long were we in there? We were in the goddamn, like, chiral goop for what felt like an hour and a half. Kojima! Dude, the bait and switch. And then, like, and here, here's a six-hour presentation on FF7. When the fuck is that? Is that a week away? It's next Tuesday. God, that was 40 minutes? Holy shit, dude. Okay, well, you know. Right? It was okay. Same day as the Evo thing. Oh, good. Oh, good. Demo for sure. Didn't happen today, chat. I don't think. Damn. No gift sub bets happened today. Holy shit, man. Well, I'll see you guys soon. I mean, if you're not around for the regular streams, I guess we'll be back in less than a week, dude. I, I thought the Dragon's Dogma 2 trailer was the best the game has looked. This shit actually looks super cool. The dragon will appear before you when the time is come. By the way, this is a PC game for me. Because there's rumors that it's only going to be 30 FPS on console, right? 
And it's looking very good. I mean, it's a good looking game. But it's clear that Capcom is working out this like RE engine along with open world stuff. This is at least a month after FF7, at least. Make manifest your will. That's at last this world might. Hold fast to your strength of will, Arisen One. That's Those pretty who can sick. Those aid to you will reveal themselves in time. It's got a guard point on it. Thy will, thy soul. These are all the means thou hast to carve thy path anew. The most interesting thing about this game, the execution of a game design that the director, which is a legacy Capcom guy, right? Devil May Cry director, you know? Uh, that the director wanted to execute with Dragon's Dogma 1, but could not because the game was just limited on hardware. So it, it, it's not like, you know, running between stuff and just going to point quest on map, do thing. No, like the, the, the gimmick of this game is that they have like a truly emergent open world, right? Where not a lot of shit is scripted from, from what the developers were saying early on. How does all of this stuff get janked up, you know? How do all these systems essentially, like, work together to create, like, oh, your own quote-unquote sense of, like, adventure in some way? Um, so that's, like, the big... It seems like a very tall ask. Like, a very big ask, where it's like, oh, yeah, you're, you're sort of putting something into your world similar to, like, a Zelda game, which is just like, okay, so stuff happens. But to degree, what kind of stuff can happen? Like... Breath of the Wild makes it happen through, like, really crazy gimmicks, you know? Building vehicles that collide with this, that do this, that blow the fuck up, and some guy gets launched in the air and gets struck by lightning or some shit. You know, like, how, so how much of that stuff is built into here? And there's no way to know this. Like, a demo won't really show this very well. There's, like, no way to really see how cool this game is until people start playing it, and then everyone has their own unique experiences of some crazy bullshit that happens.